Okay. What I want to show you now is the zigzag. So we're going to use the tip 14. Holding a 45 degree angle and off to the side. You want to wiggle the tip just a little bit, lots of pressure. Lots of even pressure. The important thing to remember with this is to keep a tooth up so that I have a groove that's up. So if you look at this, you can see that there is a, um, it's, there's not a groove that's up, there's a line that's up. So what I'm gonna do is just adjust my tip and show you. I wanna have a groove up. So let's try it again. There we go. So you can see the difference. See how this has a, um, a hill that's up and this is a valley that's right down the center. That's what you want because with Lambeth style piping, he over pipes or lines up as he calls it in his book. And he's going to do another line right on top of that and you want it to set inside that groove that you've made. And it's hard to set evenly on top of these peaks here. So you wanna have that the tooth up so it'll create a valley, like it did there. Okay, as you do this, make sure you're moving your whole arm and not just your hand. You wanna move your whole arm, it's easier. When you start to do just a straight line, you need to touch and immediately squeeze and lift up, even pressure. And when you come down, you wanna pull away. You don't want a bulb at the beginning or at the end. You don't want a, a bulb of icing like that, okay? And then like that. Don't want the bulbs on the ends. You want it nice and even, okay? And again, when you're doing a straight 14 or any other star tip, it's important that you keep, it's important that you keep that tooth up. So again, you've got a valley for your next line up, which is in this case gonna be a four. He does, normally when he does his overpiping, he does a 16, then a five, then a three, or he'll do a 14, a four, and a two. So those are just the sizes that fit together for him. Let's do some overpiping. Okay, so normally what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a zigzag, heavy pressure. Okay, then I'm gonna do a 14 straight on top of this. When I do it, I am gonna drag, this time I'm gonna drag my tip right um, on this slightly because it's just a lot easier to lay the line. So I'm gonna drag it slightly when I go right on top of it. Pull away. Then I've got a number four that's gonna go on top of that. Now this is where the paintbrush comes in. And what you want is a tiny bit of water, a damp paintbrush, not wet, just damp. And if your line isn't directly on top of it, you can push it with your damp paintbrush, okay? So again, with the four, you wanna touch it and lift and then come down, whoops, I got a little air in my frosting. Come down and then stop and pull away. You don't want a bulb and then a bulb. You don't wanna do that. You wanna just stop the pressure when you lay it down and pull it away. So we're gonna, oh, I've got air in my frosting. It's very important that you don't have air in your frosting, which is why we normally will sift, um, we'll paddle it back and forth we put, before we put it in the bag, which I will show you in the next. Okay, so we lift it up, lay it straight on, Lay it, no pressure, I re released my pressure, lay it down and pull away so I don't have a bulb. But I'm not exactly straight on that line, I kind of curved a little bit. So I'm going to just push it ever so lightly so that it is straight up and down. 